Vlogmas Day 16! <laughs> Monday. It's Monday and it's still bitterly cold up here. We've totally avoided the snow but I think because it's actually been too cold. It hit minus 10 last night um, and it doesn't normally get that cold here so um, we've all been taken aback by it and giving it, oh my gosh it's so cold every five minutes. So anyway, hi horses. Hello Gigi's. You saying hi? Horses are in today um, on account of the fact that we could not keep the the waters unfrozen in the fields, um, and obviously we don't want we want to avoid um, any colic or anything like that. So they are all inside. Say hello, Bobby. Um, and I think they're quite happy about it as long as they've got plenty of haylage and um, a little. Oh, you're bringing me in for a cuddle. You're a good boy. Um, then they're quite happy. So. Um, it's about lunchtime. I have just made myself some pizza, but I left it in the oven for too long and it was just past the perfect stage, unfortunately. However, I ate it anyway. And I'm gonna top all these guys up and make sure um, they've got enough for the afternoon. So that's fine, that's them all sorted. They're all topped up and they'll be happy for another couple of hours. Um, and I'm about to jump in the car to go to the highlight of the festive calendar um, and that is the school and nursery nativity play um, so I'm excited to see that Cora is going to be she is a curious sheep um, I don't know how many curious sheep there are or indeed how many sheep there are there may be different categories of sheep I'm not sure Callan is a camel which he's not very happy about I think is fair to say. Um, however, it was the dress rehearsal this morning and we made a deal that he would do the dress rehearsal and if he still really didn't want to be a sheep then he didn't have to do it at all and he could sit with me in the audience instead. So we, <laughs> I'll find out when I get to school how that went this morning. Um, but yeah, really excited to go and see them do their thing. Um, sorry, I'm just removing all the haylage from my boot. Um, before jumping in the car to go and pretend I'm a normal mum like the others. Um, although saying that, we're quite a rural community out here and a lot of the mums are sort of um, from farming families and things like that so it's not uncommon for for multiple mums to be tur to turn up in horsey gear or outdoors clothes or whatever so muddy welly boots and all that so it's not too bad. It's not like I live in the city centre and people expect you to look all glam. Um, so yeah, way to do that just now. Um, I probably can't record in there um, so you can decide whether or not that's a blessing or not. Um, but um, we'll head along there anyway. See, for those of you who saw, was it in a vlog? I think it was. It was in the vlog where we were going on a Christmas night out. Um, I got my hair stuck in the, the chandelier. So this is the chandelier. It's not that grand, it's just from John Lewis. It's, it sounds sounded far more grand than it was. But yeah, I'm just washing my hands there just now. I'm a bubble hat sitting at two. I'm not tall, I'm about five foot four. Um, so yeah, perhaps it's not the most ideal location for the, <laughs> for the light. I've been told this before um, by a tall person. Um, I dismissed it as in it's not, it's, not one of, it's not a problem for me, but it might be a problem. I thought I'd show you my wreath. Um, we go to the same place every year. It's the Rose Garden, I want to say, up in Perth. It's the Rose something, Rose House. The Rose House up in Perth. Um, lovely Audrey who works there, does such a beautiful job. Um, so yeah, we get our wreaths there every year. And I really need to get it on my door. Um, it's really a Chris job. I'm not really quite sure. We normally have some sort of ribbon contraption that we create to tie it to the door um, but yeah it's looking absolutely gorgeous 
and I well worth going to visit her if you're local. It just and it smells amazing. It's kind of got like oranges and pine sort of what are they leaves? <laughs> Not cones, just pine bits on there. But it smells amazing. So pretty. Maybe man, in you go. Good boy. Clever doggy. Anyway, so you guys were amazing in the show. Uh, Did you enjoy it? Yes! Callum, what was your favourite bit? Uh, I don't know. You've still got all your face paint on. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's uh, Rudolph. That's mine! No, it's mine. No, it's my bag. I, I, I definitely... And you were a very good curious sheep coder. I did... I was... I was... I bring that in. I'm going to get your seat, sweetheart. Good, right. So we're going to go and get a wee snack. Yeah. 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 Come on, Cora, sit down. And, and I think you will like something and that's in the stop. Okay, so we are going to go into our favourite shop, aren't we? Yeah, because yeah, I want to see my favourite digger. Just to say, that is face paint on Callan's face, not dirt. Oh, hi, but now it's rubbed off. <laughs> so we're going into the range to pick up some arts and craftsy kind of stuff so we can make some Christmas decorations and things, eh? Yeah, and, and, and it's raining outside. I don't think it is. I think we're good. Right, come on. Let's go and find Grandma and Grandad. Yes, and it also... used to rain a long time ago. What does Cora want to see? Well, I've got a book full of art. Things. Exactly. So we need some bits and bobs to make our thing, For don't we? Sanity. Right, come on then, guys. Let's go oh, and come on, Betty. Betty, you don't know. Okay. Why is that down? Right, we're going. Come on, bobs. Come on then, Carolyn. I don't think that is a doggy sledge. I think it's got something to do with cats. What is it for? I think cats like to scratch their paws on it. What could we get for Ken Robinson? What do you think he would like? I don't know. What is this? It's a big bone, isn't it? I think what about one of these? Do you think he would like... Oh, look. I think he would like... Whoops. I think he would like... I don't know, darling. We get him some treats as well because he's got a to he's got a couple of toys. He's got a mat for his balls. I think you think you would like one of these. They're called bunny chaps. You want to get one of them? Yeah, they're called bunny chaps. Okay. And Did we get him a white face because he's got a white face? What do you think, guys? Should we get a white one? Yeah, because he is, right? Yeah. Okay. Put that one back then. That's why I wanted it. Okay, let's get him choosing some treats as well then. Okay. Okay. Because you've got to have treats on Christmas. Oh, I want to have. So we could get him a, a box of, of bones or something. Oh, I always, we'll get him a box of bones. I always Okay, that's quite a lot of Christmas presents, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think he'll like all of that? Yeah, it should be that. So shopping with the kids is a bit of a nightmare at the minute. They want everything that they see and palming them off for Fortnite till Christmas is proving tricky. Um, however, our wee trip to the range was good. We got some bits and bobs to do some Christmas um, crafts. So that'll be fun. And we picked up Ken Robinson's Christmas present as well. So shh, he's just down here. Can't tell him what it was but the kids chose it, um, so they're quite happy with their, with that. And back home, it's pitch black outside. The horses are all in their stables though, so which is fine. So I'm quickly making tea for myself, Chris and the kids, and then I'll have to head out on the yard again, do a skip out and a top up. Um, so yeah, it is go, go, go. So I'm out in the yard. I am skipping out and topping up. I'm putting the horses to bed properly tonight, so I'm just getting on with that. Outside taps are still frozen, which is a pain in the ass. Um, so I'm filling up from our kitchen sink, well, like the 
yard kitchen sink, which is annoying, but never mind. At least we've got something. But anyway, I'm walking through the yard and I am noticing some of our liveries are taking part in our festive stable challenge. I'm particularly liking this. This is Abbey Stable for Aero. I'm loving these wee bows. How cute are they? I think that's a pretty good effort. Fern's gone to town too with a red and silver theme. Got some tinsel and a Merry Christmas sign. And of course the horsey advent calendar. So that's pretty cool, making the place look rather jolly. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> 